art at the temple. I, I don't know. We'll see. Fortunately, though, I've got a little bit of time left, so we can do that one and, I don't know, maybe one more if this one goes quickly enough. But we shall see, shall we not? Alrighty, and then I do, I do have... I've got three artifacts down there, too. That's interesting. I didn't realize until I started the episode that I had so many. Okay, questions still... Alright, yeah. I thought it might, but I wasn't really sure one way or the other. But all I really gotta do is get to the fairies and then I can find out. Ah, wow! No, let me get my experience. Although it's probably not that much here. Nah, not really. That's a little bit, not all that much. Huh? I could have sworn. You go, well, I guess not. Eh, oops to me. I don't know why I thought you went up there to progress further. I was clearly wrong. Darn it. No. No, no. Hit. There we go. Yeah, I've I've really enjoyed streaming. I I don't know if I've mentioned it to well to all of y'all, but I started doing it originally as basically I started streaming Sweet Code 5 just as a test to try to get it figured out in time for my finale of Wild Arms. The first stream went ugh, not so great to say the least, but ultimately. I kept going with it, and I've gotten a bit better at it, I guess. Uh, obviously, you guys are a better judge of that than I am. But, you know, it, I've really enjoyed it. It's an interesting way to go about to go about gaming. Because there are definitely some games that lend themselves much better to streaming than to LPing, and then vice versa. see was it I'm trying to remember exactly where okay that's wow crud I got another egg okay we'll try to catch this one actually and keep it this time yeah I've seen uh yeah I was gonna mention uh, Pokemon uh, Pokemon Soul Freak has actually a guide on the forums where uh, where he posted some stuff about streaming with a bad connection, and I keep hitting the wrong button. Why? Why, Eric? Why? Okay, well, you like that, at least. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Thank you. Alright. Sell a pet, which I hadn't really done much of, much with any of them. Ah, uh, alright. Oh, you can clearly tell I haven't done much with any of them. Let's see... I think I'm going to sell Bonehopper. And I got very little for it. <laughs> Alright, well. That's a dead-end area, obviously. It's only the dead-end areas I find that have the spirits or the... Um, or the monsters, so... Alright. I should be getting to the fairies, though, relatively soon, I think. Yay, levels up. What level am I now, I wonder? Oh, wow, I'm level 50. Holy cow. So basically, I'm at the point in Legend of Mana that I am in Suicoden 2. <laughs> Except I don't have a level 99 George to keep me company. In this game, anyway. Okay, so 20 minutes out of, would you say, 95? Well, that's... Three... Modest size episodes, two long episodes if you want to go that path. Ah, hello, fairies. What's up? Ah, uh, the master's tied, but we have not. Yes, that is true. Although, I kind of figured there would be. Okay, 96. Alright, well, I was close. 
kind of figured there'd be a little bit of a stain here. Alright, well, I guess all we can do then is go further and see if there is something going on. Hi! Um, this is different fairy area. Oh, shut up, fairies. Well, to some degree, I, when I'm trying to record, I, I do so trying to keep in mind the length of the video. And if I can... If I know that I'm taking or cutting some stuff out, then I, well, I have some latitude to actually make the videos a little bit longer. Well, I, well, I've already talked to him actually with Bud, so do you know how we differ from the fairies? Well, our appearances, I would figure. Oh, okay. Huh. Rather hard to... Yeah, no kidding. Okay, well, maybe jumping into a circle of fairies will send us to the land of the fairies. Huh, okay. Well, then, is there... Oh, never mind. Okay, I guess that cues me forward, I suppose. We get to kill old Brillo over here. Excuse me, sorry about that. Okay, I guess back to where we were to see if there is any evidence or see if there's any... Hi! What's up? Yes, I did. Thanks. <laughs> oh, no problem. Seems I gotta go further. Did you get to hear Toad's story? Who's Toad? One of the... Oh, yes, I did. I didn't realize that was his name, though. So, goodbye. Wait, no, no, no. What are you doing? Oh, shut up, fairies. Well, I guess in that case, I've just gotta, seems like I gotta head out of here. Because it says, oh, tell Matilda. So, all right. Goodbye. Cluster around me and... Die. Get ready, uh-oh. Oh, now what? Ah, phooey. Ah, phooey! Ah, okay. Oh, hi. Oh, wait. Dude! Wait a minute! Is that... That looks... That guy looks awfully familiar. He also looks like... Uh... Oh, you're Erwin. Okay. Huh. You look all grown up and demonic. <laughs> hmm, let's see... I'm trying to think of what that the faceplate reminds me of. Uh, it reminds me of, I think, Id in Xenogears. Is the first thing that comes to mind anyway. What am I capable of? Oh, Lord. Oh, uh, this could go badly. guy really is as bad as, as God thought he was. Unfortunately, Erwin doesn't have insanely atmospheric music. Okay, well sure, Nico, what's your question? 
have we seen Undertale? No, I've I've not heard of it. Uh oh. Go back and tell Matilda. Okay. What in the world is that supposed to mean? Is he invincible? That's bad. Okay, well in that case, uh... I guess just go back further then. Oh, huh. Interesting. I... No, I've not heard of it. And... Wait, you can flatten me too? How dare you, Brillo? And you came in a little too late with that one there, Colin. Oh! Never mind! Oh! Fair, a circle of fairies, okay. So are we going to the fairy world then? Well, Dana is. Okay. Lord Irwin takes away the shadows. Huh. Okay. Ooh! Okay, yeah, apparently. Hello. Boreal Hound, okay. Ouch. Oh, wow, that, uh... That was a pretty tough one for the golem to study you doing. Quit doing that. Rainbow Wolf. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and he arfs every time he gets hit. <laughs> oh, crud. Um, wow, the fireworks actually did hurt him. Thanks, Boreal Hound. Appreciate you walking right into the middle of him. You know, give my golem some sense that he's actually, you know, that he's doing well for himself. Whoop. Oh, crap. Oh, huh, interesting. Area attack there. Taste the rainbow. Uh, that is one way to put it. All right, nope, give me my invisible. Too late. Dang it. And I got caught in the middle of it, too. Crap. Oh, well. I can just kill him the normal way. Come on. <laughs> I guess that is one way to put it. I'll take that experience. Thank you very much. Uh, well, we found out that she got whisked off. She went to... The fairy world! Yep. Okay, you can ask us however much you want. Oh, wow, okay. So, she could speak with fairies and he couldn't. Interesting. He says he can somewhat see them. Okay. And we're forced to leave. Doggone, I didn't want to leave. Whoa, wait a minute. Who are you? Uh, who are you? That's a good question. Haven't seen each other for quite some time. Huh. Yeah, of course they can see them. He killed them, yeah. My name is Selva. Okay. Oh, well. Okay, so you're one of the Wisdoms too, huh? I used to visit you when you were an infant. Well, okay. Huh, interesting. The era's end. That doesn't sound scary at all. Okay, wow, lots of names. Dana, Escod, Irwin, Elazul, Pearl, Lark, Sierra. Yep, all of the named characters. And me.
Huh, okay. Well, good to know that I am part of this, I suppose. Olbon the Warrior. Gaius the Earth, yep. Rosso Rossi Rossiati, the Beast. Alright, there's one of my uh, wisdoms. He's a wisdom. I don't remember where Olbon is, though. Tote, we already talked to him. Pokeel, who last we saw was in Watt's laboratory. And Selva, okay. You shall become the seventh. Wow, okay. That's some pretty lofty territory there. You're the. Wow. Gee, no pressure. Wait. Okay. What's that supposed to mean? Her selfishness causing chaos. There is no such thing as shadows. Huh. Oh, well. He's giving us food for thought, that's for sure. Well, apparently this Wisdom is a pretty good guy, actually. I wouldn't have... I mean, just from his appearance, he looks sinister. But apparently he's not even close. And I can understand where he's coming from as far as guilt and forgiving yourself. I'm kind of bad about that in my own sense. I have a hard time, well, not a hard time, but when I get complimented or things like that, I generally don't accept them very well, and I can remember things that I've done or things that, or things that I've said that I regret for years. I don't know why, but it's just, that's just how I seem to be, I guess. So I can see where he's coming from on this. Alright, so, well, we've concluded that one. Okay. 